uh, uh, regulations on uh, uh, establishment of a learner support center and this has to been already been told by my colleague uh, dr ramila at uh, rc vadagara so uh, the as you all know the 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 coordinator of a study center is is appointed uh, by the uh, by the uh, headquarters of uh, igno uh, on the recommendations of the uh, head of the institution of the uh, study center where uh, where where it is uh, uh, where it could be functioning so the coordinator uh, of a study center has, uh, uh, has a greater role in uh, in the function of the learner support center so he uh, is the uh, authority of the learner support center and uh, he is he will be in possession of the the, the study center uh, on a whole so he has to identify the study center he has to have the, the study center the minimum number of uh, I mean the rooms, etc., the library, all this uh, office, etc., all, all has to be uh, taken care by the coordinator. So that's the uh, that's the, that's an important duty of the coordinator. And uh, once uh, uh, he takes up the charge of the coordinator, uh, he has to uh, see that all, all the things are in place. Like, uh, say, for example, uh, like uh, the office equipments, like the printer, the computer, the TV, VCR, whatever is there. Uh, then uh, the uh, if uh, some of the study material comes to the learner support center that has to be taken care of and uh, that has to be maintained properly and uh, apart from that uh, he has to take up the appointments like uh, as uh, Ramila madam was telling uh, uh, for a uh, study center having an enrollment up to 100 uh, it's only the coordinator who has to take up uh, the, all the activities there will be no assistant coordinator but there will be an assistant, then attendant, and then the survivor. So the appointment of this uh, assistant, attendant, and uh, the survivor will be uh, done by the coordinator. So that's another function of the coordinator. So and then, uh, uh, if there is a, uh, if, they, if the enrollment again goes up, like if it is from uh, 100 to 250, the coordinator can appoint an assistant coordinator. So the assistant coordinator will be uh, mostly from the academic counselors. Uh, uh, who are uh, taking who will be taking the classes in the particular study center so that he can appoint an assistant coordinator so based on the enrollment increase in enrollment they can go for uh, assistant coordinators up to uh, around eight so uh, accordingly the as the number of assistants attendants and survivors also can be increased accordingly so all these uh, the appointments of this uh, study center functionaries will be done by the uh, assistant uh, so the coordinator Then, uh, uh, as uh, our assistant Mr. was telling, uh, he has to he has a greater role in uh, in maintaining the office records, the finance, uh, financial matters of the study center, including uh, uh, bills. Then uh, keeping up the interest, and all the financial matters will be maintained by the coordinator. Then the coordinator will be uh, will ensure that the counseling sessions are, uh, are done. The study center, so he will be planning for the uh, for the counseling sessions uh, with the help of the assistant coordinator and all the other supporting staff, and so that will be planned accordingly, and it will be executed. And before that, uh, the uh, the the uh, the new the newly uh, admitted students has to undergo the induction meeting. So the induction meeting will be planned by the coordinator and the assistant coordinator in consultation with the uh, regional center. Uh, and uh, and appropriately it will be planned and executed uh, uh, by the study center coordinator then uh, he has uh, responsibilities like uh, the collection of assignments uh, uh, the record of assignments has to be maintained by the by the study center so the, you know we know that the learner will be submitting the assignments at the learner support centers and so the uh, an account of these particular assignments has to be ensured at the uh, at the study centers and this will be monitored maintained by the coordinator so so uh, and it, this will be with the help of uh, the assistant coordinators assistants attendants etc so that will be and uh, the coordinator uh, will also be uh, maintaining all the financial bills etc all these things are uh, 
done by the coordinator. And uh, mm, the, similarly, uh, the assistant coordinator will be helping the coordinator for uh, in all the activities of the study center. Apart from that, uh, the coordinator will also be looking after the the examination part, which is said to be a very important evaluation part. Uh, I mean, the determined examinations. So that that will be taken care by the uh, by the coordinator. So that's an important uh, assignment. So the coordinator can uh, will be uh, will be uh, can uh, function as a, as the, as the exam superintendent. So that's uh, so, or he can appoint uh, any other person. Uh, in, in, in fact, uh, a qualified person for uh, among the assistant coordinators for as the exam superintendent. And uh, the exam superintendent has a wide role in conduct of the examination. So he has to uh, first send the uh, proposal for establishment of the exam center. So that's the initial process. And after that, uh, the, the proper guidelines uh, of the of conduct of the term and examination has to be uh, has to be given to all the supporting staff uh, in consultation with the head of the institution, and uh, also uh, the uh, the center superintendent, uh, the exam center superintendent can appoint uh, the observers for the examination. So that will be again in consultation with the. Regional centers, and uh, they, for that, uh, for the establishment of uh, exam centers, uh, the performa, etc., whatever is needed, has to be uh, sent uh, well in advance for uh, for the establishment. And uh, the uh, the norms for engagement of uh, the staff for the government examinations, uh, as you know, for uh, like uh, the exams, uh, invigilators, appointment of invigilators. So the norms are there. Like uh, for example, for uh, for uh, twenty five, right? For 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 twenty five uh, candidates. For for each twenty five candidate, uh, you'll have to have one invigilator. So that's the norm that's uh, in prevailing now. So that has to be uh, taken care of properly by the exam center superintendent. Then uh, remunerations. What? Uh, for the invigilators, for the staff that are who are assisting with the examination, has to be uh, properly maintained. Then uh, he has to maintain the uh, the like uh, the daily se session-wise uh, attendance of the staff. Uh, then staff, then staff on duty. Then uh, attendance of the of the learners taking up the examinations and uh, daily. Uh, like uh, account of the uh, examination books, the question papers, uh, then the uh, like uh, how the, uh, the opening of uh, the question papers, then uh, the seating plan, then uh, the uh, uh, dispatch of uh, the dispatch memo, like uh, it is properly. Uh, Proper packing of the examination answer sheets and then dispatch of the answer sheets to the respective evaluation center. So the dispatch memo has to be properly maintained. So apart from this, uh, um, uh, he has to uh, also take up uh, other evaluation matters like the the conduct of practical examinations. That's again, uh, it has to be properly planned, like uh, identifying the uh, examination halls, the laboratories, conduct of uh, practical sessions uh, then uh, then uh, apart from that practical examinations uh, proper conduct of practical examinations and then uh, maintaining again uh, the attendance of these uh, practical uh, candidates app appearing for the practical examinations then proper keeping of the project work uh, guiding the uh, learners uh, on uh, on submission of uh, project work synopsis submission approval of synopsis and uh, then evaluation of the projects, uh, projects submitted, conduct of viva was. So all these are forming part of the evaluation process. And these, all these are uh, the duties of the, the coordinator. And all this process takes place in consultation or in, with, us, with the assistance of the assistant coordinators and the other assistants who are uh, present, uh, who are uh, appointed in the study center.
as well as i was mentioning earlier uh, the maintenance of registers like uh, the bank press registers top registers cash book cash book, cash book as uh, as our western register was telling uh, the cash book has to be maintained by the uh, coordinator and that has to be uh, uh, signed and, uh, and uh, properly submitted every day cash book has to be maintained that is that is that's an important thing and uh, they have to take uh, uh, proper audit has to be done and the audit uh, has to be presented uh, the uh, the registers has to be presented at the time of uh, audit what whenever it is it's taking place and uh, it's uh, uh, it's also his duty to maintain uh, the uh, uh, the norms uh, to to see the norms properly and to conduct uh, uh, all the academic sessions academic counseling sessions as per the norms uh, that are uh, prevailing uh, from time to time from time to time and there are different norms for different uh, programs so accordingly uh, you should be well aware with the payment norms for each of the programs uh, so that is also an important duty of the coordinator as well as the assistant coordinators and all the assistants of the assistants of the uh, study center uh, learner support center so these are said to be uh, some of the important uh, tasks of the uh, the coordinator as well as the assistant coordinators and, and the assistants and the uh, other uh, all other staff of the, uh, the learner support centers so that's uh, from me for this for this session and uh, the session is open for uh, discussion if you have any doubts please I think Mr. Bijoy has raised a uh, thank you, Dr. Sakti Girti. Uh, uh, very interesting. So I'm sure uh, there will be some discussion talks uh, from our uh, study centers as well. So. We have a lot of uh, experienced uh, study center staff. And again, the doubt or and the clarification, and the three points raised here, this is the appropriate uh, form to raise it because uh, it is uh, because uh, we don't have many very many occasions on which we all meet together and discuss these points. So, if you have any points to raise or discuss, kindly do raise them uh, so that we can discuss and uh, that will be of benefit to all of us. In India, everybody will organize an emphasis and agree to another. Coordinators proposals come up forward for the appointment of part-time staff. Please ensure that all the eligibility criteria are fulfilled because ultimately the responsibility uh, forwarding the uh, persons with the right eligibility criteria that was so you and you alone. So ultimately, uh, you will be answerable uh, to uh, the kind of uh, uh, proposals that uh, those are received at the regional center. So please ensure that only those persons who fulfill all criteria as laid down by the university for their appointment as part-time staff are indeed forward, forwarded to regional centers. So, if there are uh, no further points for discussion, uh, this was the last session for the morning. So, uh, um, uh, I hope all of you have gained a great deal as we have uh, through these discussions. We will uh, break for lunch now and we will join sharp at 1.50. We will uh, join for the afternoon session at 1.50. Uh, and I all, uh, also request all the participants to fill in that attendance sheet for the morning session. A new link will be given for the afternoon session uh, for marking your attendance. So, uh, thank you all of you for joining us for this morning session. I hope, uh, as earlier stated, this was uh, this morning session was useful to you. And I'm sure that uh, in the afternoon session there will be a lot further discussion because we have very many important po points will be discussed in the afternoon session. Uh, in the afternoon session, we have two very accomplished uh, resource persons, uh, Dr. P. Praveen Kumara, 
who is the deputy registrar of Ibno Real Estate in Bodega, who will be handling the session on the practical maintenance of financial records at the LLC. That's a very important session because we will be practically demonstrating how actually you are supposed to maintain the financial records at the LLCs, and that will be a highly interactive session. And it will be followed by another very important session on um, how to procure uh, uh, approval of counseling and practical schedules and how to actually prepare those counseling and practical schedules. This will be handled by Dr. Uh, VT Jalja Kumari, Assistant Real Director at Economic Center, Kuchin. So, thank you for joining this morning session. We will all join sharp, uh, back sharp at 1.50 p.m. in the afternoon uh, for the afternoon session. Uh, sir, sir, Sanal Kumar, sir, any point to make? Uh, please. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Shiva Prasad, uh, Dr. Shiva Prasad, uh, do you have any point to make? You have raised your hand. Yeah. Sir, where is to mark attendance? Please. Where has to be marked the attendance? <laughs> No, no, Thank you. Thanks for joining and we all meet uh, for the afternoon session at 150. Yeah, it's Thank you. Thank you so much.